For many of you, in a moment or so, I predict there will be a tap, tap, tapping or rap, rap, rapping on your door. A giggling ghost on Halloween night, for sure. But then again, maybe more. Some ghost stories go far deeper and stranger. Case in point is the story I share with you tonight. A strange one indeed, so draw near, hold my hand, and we will walk through it together. Cemeteries can be unusual places. At times, the wind sways treetops in maybe uneasy ways. Cemeteries have long been places of strange sightings. Images here one moment and gone the next. More on what you saw or thought you saw later. But we begin our unusual tale at another cemetery, Erie Street, an early burial spot in Cleveland. People from uh, throughout the world that were buried here and who came to Cleveland. So it was a very, it's always been a very well integrated and uh, diverse area. John Semperman of the Early Settlers Association. It maintains a history of the Erie Street Cemetery on Cleveland's East 9th Street, once called Erie Street. This cemetery established in the 1820s is Cleveland's second burial place. The first was Public Square. But in 1820, as Public Square was being developed, the Money Boys of Cleveland wanted the bodies removed from the new Public Square. So they bought land right here, and they brought the 17 bodies from Public Square, put them in the ground right here. Eventually, the burials grew to number 1,400, among them that of a Native American chief from Cleveland, Jaco Sot, who in his later years joined a traveling Wild West show. They say if you come here at night, you may have the experience of seeing Jaco Sot. Semperman hedges his words carefully when talking of whether he believes in ghosts. However, three miles away at Woodland Cemetery, there is no hedging of words when some there are asked of their ghostly beliefs. Well, that there's been a lady who is over near the single grave section, which is by East 71st Street, that walks around with a parasol. Members of the Woodland Cemetery Foundation are emphatic about ghost sightings. One who conducts ghost tours here said she knows firsthand of strange events, always in a Civil War burial section of Woodland. Someone seems to say hi from the other side as a warm, friendly pinch on my bum. Now on I your bottom, somebody touches yeah. you. Well, did you feel it now? Yes. <laughs> well, it was not I who touched you on your whatever. Giggling, she said, every time she walks among these headstones, the pat on her bottom she takes as a compliment. Strange stories indeed, including those from that witch you saw earlier. Orbs are round spots and, and pieces of them coming at you and flying by you and doing weird. There are tens of thousands of burials in these old cemeteries, each with a story to tell, each now buried. But mention graveyard and sooner or later, someone will mention the word ghosts. Which raises a question for you to ponder. What do you believe? For some, cemeteries hold a strange fascination beyond their general use. These are plots of land historical, for they are resting places of those no longer here in the here and now. Final addresses for those who have moved on, or have they? Something to ponder the next time you wander alone in a place like this. So if there's a tap tapping or a rap rapping on your door tonight, probably just trick or treat. There's nothing more, but then again. And a pinch on your bottom, I mean. <laughs> she said that's what happened. And twas not I who pinched her bottom. Yes, we know that. <laughs> For sure. She said something pinched her bottom and I believe very, it. Very, very good, Leon. Thanks so much. You know